hallmark is a young lady with heavy, painful periods. It's also going to present with what we call the four Ds. And when I talk about the four Ds, we talk about dysuria, that's painful urination. It may present with uh, dyspareunia, that is painful uh, intercourse, and that pain is felt deep within the pelvis during sexual uh, intercourse, dyscasia. That is a medical term that describes painful defecation. So dyscasia, painful defecation, dysuria, painful uh, urination, dyspareunia, that is deep painful sex, and the fourth D is dysmenorrhea, and those that is painful uh, periods. Now, the other presentation is basically because of the complications of this condition. And top on the list is infertility. This condition, especially in the advanced stage, causes infertility as a complication because it's going to cause scarring all over the pelvis, which may block your tubes, okay? And also the, the inflammation that follows the presence of this endometriotic tissue outside the uterus, okay, does, uh, is, is, is quite detrimental to the viability of sperm, eggs, and embryos. So that is one way we, we get infertility with uh, endometriosis. The other presentation is chronic pelvic pain. And that is a, usually when you already have complicated uh, endometriosis. And that occurs because of scarring happening all around your ovaries, your tubes, your uterus. This chronic scarring occurs because of the body tries to repair the recurrent inflammation that follows a menstrual cycle. You know, this ectopic tissue responds to hormones just the way the inner lining of your uterus is going to respond. So at every month, when you're shedding endometrium, these endometriotic tissues that you see existing outside on the ovary will also shed. And every month they shed, your body tries to repair. And how does it repair? By forming scars. And when you form many scars, you're going to have chronic pelvic pain within the pelvis, okay? So when you come to us, we will have uh, endometriosis at the back of our minds. Now, having said that, there are other things that may present as endometriosis, but it's not endometriosis. And some of these may be gynecological issues or they may be non-gynecological issues, maybe even surgical issues. And top on the list, among us, gyne issues, uh, ovarian cysts may present like endometriosis. Fibroids may present like uh, endometriosis. Infections, these are STIs and PIDs may present like endometriosis. So when you come to us, we try to rule out all those things. There are other nine gynecological issues that may also present like endometriosis. And these are things like bladder, interstitial conditions, and also inflammatory bowel uh, conditions like IBS and IBD. And all those may present like uh, endometriosis. So we try to manage you together with other doctors, the surgeons, the urologists and uh, the others.